Hello everybody, and welcome to my series of tutorials about how to use the real highway mod for SimCity 4. First, let me introduce myself. I am Martin, or as you may know me uh, from sc4depotion.com and Simtropolis as MRTNRLN. I'm a SimCity 4 player for about 5 years, and I am a member of the Network Adama team for about 2 or 3 years. Please excuse me if I leave long pauses because I'm not a native English speaker. But I will try to speak English as fluently and clearly as possible. My first tutorial is about the basic techniques and tricks for the real live mode, just to get you started. So, let's get started! Let's start with one of the basic features of the real high mode, the starter pieces. Now, this is a workaround because we can technically make new networks, so instead we are using some kind of override that allows us to create multiple networks out of one single network. In case of the real highway, you can access the starter pieces by the highway menu, second button from the top, which is the starter piece button. And you can cycle through the puzzle pieces by using the tap and shift tab keys. As you can see, you see multiple widths of real highway. So how do you use them? Well, you can Hover your mouse to the location where you want it, and click, and there you have it! And now you may wonder what uh, I can do next with the uh, starters. Well, you can click on the highway menu and use the real highway tool, and you can drag the real highway out of the starter pieces, like this. And right there. And you see, uh, there you have uh, a stretch of real highway 4. Now, if you don't use start pieces, you see that it's another kind of real highway. It's the real highway 2. As a finishing touch, you can demolish uh, start pieces afterwards and drag the real highway on top of it to uh, finish it. And as you can see, it's quite stable. Now, to generalize this, I will do the same with the uh, Real Highway 6 C starter, and as you see, it uses exactly the same technique. Now, I may warn you, if you want to demolish the starter piece afterwards, make sure you have a long enough stretch of Real Highway on either side. Otherwise, it might revert to back to Real Highway 2 like this. Now we're going to construct some curves. It's actually quite simple. You uh, select the real highway tool and drag the curves out of the existing stretch of real highway like this. Not too hard, isn't it? And for finishing touch, we can use the smooth curves from the white curve puzzle piece tap ring, and you can plot them right over the existing curves like this. Now we're going to build some bridges. Uh, when you have a lot of crossed some water, there are two techniques to build a bridge for the real highway. The first one is actually quite simple. Select the real highway tool and just drag the real highway over the the river. As you see, uh, there will be a menu appearing, uh, selecting the various kinds of bridges. Now I'm using uh, some unreleased NAM bridges, so. So not all bridges you see here will show up in your menu. For this instance I will use the plain real highway 4 bridge which is available in the public version of the real highway mod. Now click on accept and the bridge is built. One thing I would like to note is that the starter override will not be applied at the other side of the bridge as you can see here. To solve this problem, we can plot another starter at the other end of the bridge, which will solve our problem. One thing I would like to note is that you can't place two bridges side by side, so you have to leave one tile of space in between them. And make sure you drag the bridge in the right direction, otherwise the bridge may be reversed. Now we connect the end with the Existing stretch of real highway. 
and with the Real Highway 4 lane shift we can smoothen out the curve and we place also an starter piece at the other side of the bridge. Now, for the second technique, I will first clear the rift crossing. This one uses the Maxis ground highways to act like a real highway. Now, we select the Maxis ground highway tool and we drag it across the river. And you see that there's a bridge. Now, there's a menu appearing and you select the suspension bridge from Blue Lightning. Now, as you can see, this is a real Highway 4 bridge with, with you, while using the Maxis Grand Highway Network. It overrides the Grand Maxis Highway Network at the very end of the bridge. As you can see, this is a seamless transition to the real Highway 4. Currently, this is the only bridge that uses this technique. But I will assure you that there will be more bridges coming using this technique. Especially the wider real highway bridges. Now, you may want to connect different widths of real highway with each other, which is where you want to use transitions. You can find the transitions in the, the highway menu for button from the top. You can tap through different transitions using the tapping and use the home and end key to rotate the puzzle piece in place. You can click to place it. It will create some extra stars and you can drag the real highway from the stars just like I showed you. Now you may want to connect the real highway with other roads because you have a nice stretch of highway there, but there's nothing you can connect it with. That's where you want to use some ramps. Now, there are two ways to construct some ramps. One is uh, by puzzle piece, and one is the so-called trackable ramp interface method. Now, first, the puzzle piece method. You can select the ramp interfaces from the highway menu, the third button from the top. Now, you can... Uh, Tap through the puzzle piece ring just like I showed you before and just you can use the home and key to change orientation. Now you can hover the puzzle piece over the existing stretch of your highway and click and there you have a puzzle piece which crea also creates some new starters which you can drag real highway from. And there you have our connection. Now, for the draggable ramp interfaces, you only have to use the real highway tool and drag the real highway in a certain pattern. Now, for the ramp cell A, you have you drag uh, this pattern. And suddenly there appears a ramp interface, which you can also drag some real highway from. Now there's some other styles of ramps, like this one, the B-style ramp, which has an MIS ramp leaving diagonally from the puzzle piece. And now here's one of my personal favorites. This is the Real Highway 4 D-style ramp. This uh, creates an acceleration or deceleration lane, where vehicles can uh, speed up or slow down from the ramp and to the ramp. Now we are going to construct some open passes to conclude this tutorial for now. We uh, go to the road menu and we select the road uh, overpass puzzle piece uh, button. Again, you can change orientation by using the home and end key and use the tap ring to cycle through the puzzle pieces. Now, place one on either side. And for the real highway overpass, there is a separate tool on in the road menu. You can select it and you can change the uh, roof pass by using the tap ring. And you can place it by clicking on the stretch of real highway. And note that uh, you have to build it in the right direction, otherwise the pass may be reversed. So that's it for now. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, please leave a comment. And uh, see you next time.